This is the Boeing 747SP, the shortest variant of the Boeing 747 built for ultra long range. But what if I told you a 747 released 4 years earlier could already fly just as far? The 747SP was released in 1975 and marketed as an ultra long haul airliner with 6600 nautical miles of range. However, the 747-200B, a plane with a range around 6800 nautical miles, was released way before in 1971. The SP had no range advantage. Why did Boeing make it? Here's the thing. In 1973, Pan Am was losing a very specific race. They needed a plane capable of carrying a full payload from their hub in JFK to Tehran, Iran, the longest route in the world at the time. While the 747-200B could technically fly this far, it was heavy, had a slower climb performance, and had a lower cruising altitude. So Boeing developed the 747-SP. It was 48 feet shorter and 45,000 pounds lighter with a much higher thrust to weight ratio. It could reach far off destinations with tough operational constraints without sacrificing payload. However, the SP suffered in sales. It had only 45 compared to the 393 of the 200B variant. When the SP rolled out, the market had changed. Its smaller capacity of around 100 less passengers made it uneconomical. Newer long range twin, the 747-400, eventually made the SP's niche irrelevant. Today, the only SPs in operation are used as test beds for Pratt & Whitney's engines. What do you think about the Boeing 747 SP? Let me know in the comments.